guys, Brian Stahl here, Fishing Tournament Report. I'm with Jeremy Prickton and John Cox. We're at Lake Seminole for the 2015 Battle Trail Open First Annual. Congratulations, guys. They just won with 15.29 pounds. Free fishing, basically, for the Southern Open. That's coming up next week. Tell me a little bit about the day today. Well, well, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was really cold this morning. And, uh, we were actually uh, weren't, wasn't sure if it was going to hurt it or, or make it a little better. And uh, we did a lot better than we thought we did. We thought it was going to be really tough. Kept going down the bank, going. We pick up one here and there. Yeah, yeah. Just they were good quality. Excellent. Where was there any particular color that worked the best? For you? Um, well, we had a. We were mostly just throwing shad colors. You know, yeah. Just mix them up. Um, I had, you know, uh, Dermy was killing them in one spot, and I was like, man, how come I can't get bit? And I, and I peeled the chrome off mine in my first cast. Yeah, I was like, yeah. He peels it off. Throws it out there one time. <laughs> hey, that works, you know. It, yeah, that, was, that was pretty exciting. Uh, I, I know uh, a lot. A lot of times that bone color, you know, no paint will really turn them on. Um, I know that's what won the Guntersville Rattle Trap over right. last year. They had 25 pounds, and the guys fished the BFL the day before, didn't catch a single fish, went out the next day and caught 25 pounds. Wow. So, uh, it, it's amazing what that bait can do. Um, did you get to throw the new Echo 1.7? I did. I, I threw it uh, quite a bit. I threw it on. Uh, CB 903, uh, it's a crank and blank, MHX makes it. make super long cast with it. We actually uh, trimmed the bill down a little bit so we could run it a little bit shallower. So we could run it some more to the surface. And uh, I mean, it worked good, it sounds good. We, we didn't get any on it today, but I can see where it's definitely going to come into play. Excellent. And for those uh, applications where you're anglers are throwing in, in the hydrilla if they need to get it a little bit shallower they can also always go to that floating trap yeah we, I, was, I was kind of disappointed because when we were ordering traps for this thing uh, you know i looked at the floating ones and i was like ah you know we probably won't need it you know and, and out there we could, today, we could have used, yeah we definitely yeah, could have used it <laughs> so well what uh what do you think it's going to take to win next weekend for the third stop for the southern open you know, I, I don't really know. I, I think uh, you know the fish. They seem to be like out scattered early, and then they seem like they're either bearing up or going out deeper later. So um, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking you know, 17 a day probably definitely. But I think we win. I think somebody's gonna really hammer them though, at least a day or two. I see. Yeah, that's what I think. The, the first day you can get a, a good bag, but I think you can't do it. Big bag three days. I don't, I don't think it's well, it, uh, this leg definitely holds them. You know, we got a couple of guys from Florida up in uh, Georgia going for the third stop at the Southern Open. Bassmasters Classic uh, berth on the line. So good luck uh, this this coming weekend, and uh, you know, no pressure. Right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. I, you know, usually I don't like fishing this time of year too much because it's tough. And, uh, Last few days, really. Like yeah, yeah. Like well, thanks for coming out. We definitely appreciate it. Congratulations again. A thousand dollars, Richard. Thank you. Appreciate it.